What are you doing, you idiot child? Um, that's a dragon noise. This can only end bad. It can be like a dog or something. I wouldn't even be surprised if it was like a dog. Oh. Uh awkward Nice Good hit Guards Gart What? Ew. Well hello cousin. What a terrible name. <laughs> I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. Um, I like grandpa stories, especially the ones with dragons. Ah, oh, yes, the legendary beast he went eye to eye with. I don't know if he forgets I've heard that story before, or if he doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes, doctors, wizards, magic elves. Grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and will make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Oh, um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. No, nope. oh, I'm in your tournament. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. Yes, I want to beat this dude I see. up, like, so bad. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. I just don't like the way he looks. Or his voice. So I'm gonna destroy him. He looks like the... <laughs> the dude from Pirates of the Caribbean. Come in, Gwendolyn. You can set those on the nightstand. Like, he looks exactly like that dude. The squid dude or octopus dude, whatever. I'll get to those. No need to fuss over me. Now let's talk about far more important issues, like that fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's Gart you're worried about, he's no bother. After all, I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... Oh. Uh... Thinking of a problem in a different way. And finding a clever distraction to create a moment of victory. <clears throat> Speaking of, that reminds me of a story, one I know you haven't heard before. When I was a much younger lad, before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I had seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. It is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. Ooh. Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. Really? We named our horse Triumph? Oh, what? Uh, that's not a horse. That's definitely not a horse. Oh, God. What are we doing? Ow. Ow. Uh, okay. We're fine. Well, he didn't, didn't just hit a tree or anything.
pretty sure our back would have broken in like eight different places by now. Oh, that's another tree. Okay, I thought I was dead. Oh, he missed his hat. After gracefully rappelling down the cliff, I welcome the sight of an actual road. The first sign of civilization. Gracefully repelling. Please. Dang, they get pretty high up. Hey, don't look at me like that. You have a big belly. What a midget. Hey, over here! I could have sworn the parade of hopeful knights was scheduled for the next day. I should have been with them, marching with triumph. It seemed my first few minutes in Daventry were off to a terrible start. So, how did you catch up with them? I didn't. JK. My nice. Good one. To be missing some sort of mouthpiece. So, well, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to search for the mouthpiece? Oh yeah, I know, it makes sense the mouthpiece would be all the way in here. Totally makes sense. Strange tracks blazed a trail through the forest. Hmm. Didn't even know those were tracks. <coughs> Just how they were like tree branches or something. Oh, wow. The mountainside. These camera angles remind me of God of War games. Like, that's exactly what, they, what it reminds me of. <laughs> I wondered what those birds needed a toolbox for. Yeah, that'll work. That'll get the tree down. Oh, wait, what? Jeez, now we have to go swimming? Shay, the only two left seem to be a small hatchet. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not go around using it on everything. Is that like a Minecraft joke or something? A small hatchet for using responsibly the only money to my name. Well, the other stuff floated down the river. Okay. Nice. We're going awfully far. From that bridge. Oh, hello. Hi there. Blue haired person. Back, you dirty thieves. Ew. Oh, it's just a boy. Don't know where he's from, but it must What's be wrong hard with to your pronounce. face. You know, you should never sneak up on a guy in a dangerous place like no! What's wrong with your foot? Probably stepped on a spiniferous thornweed. Don't worry, I got just the fix for that. <laughs> Tell me, is it more of a ow or a oh, oh, oh. either way, the merchant of miracles has got you covered. But it'll cost you. I've risked my neck to forge the most rare, miraculous, mysterious, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Huh, here it is. I massage this into my skin twice a day. And just look at my little biscuits. <clears throat> well, now that I've molded over, you'd better not. It might stunt your growth. Ooh, such exquisite material. Hey. Mm -hmm. I knew you weren't from around here. Well. You best get going. Nobody likes a late night. Oh, wait. You're stuck here with me. Every bridge in is out. 
and my shortcut had a few shortcomings. I swear that rock leaped straight out of the water. Now I'm stuck here with no wheel, a lost toolbox, and Mr. Fancy Cakes. Say, what? I'll bet a fine, strapping young man like you could help me fix up this wheel. Yep, you help me fix my chariot, and I'll give you a lift to the tournament. Hopefully no one else notices your horrible lack of punctuality. Oh, how rude. Do you have any questions for me? Um, yeah, what happened to your face? Uh, nope. So I have oh, to fix this goats? dude's Stay away from my thing. Unicorns. These aren't unicorns. This dude's high. Just a little Perhaps there was a wheel on the other side of that river. Too bad I couldn't swim. How did you get across that river? I didn't. <coughs> Your broken wheel. Okay, um, find me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. Hmm, oh, hatchet. Yeah, there we go. I mean, that wood just came right off. That missing wheel had me stumped. I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem. Ugh, Grandpa, your that infamous puns are not my favorite. What's that was a pretty good pun. You don't like the timbre of my voice? You'll warm up to the puns. These are terrible. I get it, the timbre. Funny. Those were like black cats back there. We just walked by them. That's nine years of bad luck. Times two, so eighteen. The heck is in here? Not a kitty, not a kitty. What an idiot, dude! It's so hot in my room. Oh my god. Oh, I feel like I'm dying. Two more black hats. Uh, Dahara? And then you chopped down that door, found a wheel, and headed for the tournament. No, Gwendolyn. <laughs> Just because I had a hatchet didn't mean I went around using it on everything. It's not that type of story. Ah, uh, am I supposed to climb? Yeah. Sick parkour. Nathan Drake up in here. The town square was eerily quiet. Was I the only person in Daventry not at the parade? We're walking into this person's house. Bakery. Oh. And his bakery. And that sign was asking for tips, and there was a metal pan to collect coins. Do we want to tip them? I liked this shop, so I gave them a tip. I took my money back. I changed my mind. The delectable goods looked tasty, but I couldn't compete in this tournament with a full stomach. Sure you could have. You just gotta believe. Uh -huh. I didn't see any reason why that stale bread wouldn't work for a wheel. Oh. Okay, so our cape can just magically take things down? Okay. Good to know. Good to know. It's like Lee's back pocket from The Walking Dead Season 1. Alright then. Cool. I want to explore. Looks like a blacksmith shop of Ooh. sorts. 
Phipps. Anything I can take? I bought enough for the day. And then you scooped up all the weapons, right? Right? Yeah. Oh, Gwendolyn, I didn't. I was looking for a wheel, not a fight. Well, that's lame. Let's get out of here. Since we already got a wheel. Friggin' stale piece of bread. Am I even supposed to go back this way? I don't know if I am. Oh, uh, a shortcut. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> Which way? Taking this way. <coughs> it was the right way. Can confirm. Really have to hear the story about how you took forever to tiptoe across that fallen tree again? No, I guess not. Yo, I got your wheel. I thought this might do the trick. Mm, lovely choice, boy. And thank the Yarble Snoops, this bread is beyond stale. Hopefully, it didn't pay too much. You have a face that just screams overcharge. I've got just a fix for that, too. But we have important tournament business to tend to, and I think this'll do the trick. Ooh, I'll just need to start locking my unicorns up at night. Mr. Fancy Cakes has a nibbling problem. All right, off we go. Oh, wait, before my mind slips, I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so graciously found me a wheel, I am more than willing to sell it to you at a reasonably discounted rate. Are you interested? Um... Oh, I guess. Good. I love a deal. <laughs> so do I, boy. So do I. If I see one, I'll let you know. Here you are. Now let's vamanusi from this metal land, Mr. Fancy Cakes. It is go time. Well, we got our ticket. That works. Right? I think that works. Mr. Fancy Cakes! Ah, heal! Hulk! Abyss! Stop! We sincerely hope you enjoyed your stay in our luxury cabin. Please gather your belongings and watch your head on exit. Thanks for the hospitality. No time to lounge, my boy. Lucky for you, the parade is halted. Another case of a mysterious missing bridge, I imagine. Watch your step. We wouldn't want any tears in that illustrious cape. Bon voyage, buttercup. Don't forget about us working folk. Especially when your pockets are full of riches. Well, that dude's weird. Back away, back away. This area is unsafe for commoners. Yo, I got my ticket. Would an entrance ticket prove my worth? Sorry, but the collection of entrance tickets will take place inside the theater. Well, what am I supposed to do? Would an entrance ticket prove my worth? Sorry, but the collection of entrance tickets will take place inside the theater. The forest okay. is blocked until this situation is under control. Uh. Hello. Uh, apologies, I'm late. Uh, I should be on the list. First name Graham, last name... The list, unfortunately, is inside the theater, which is across that bridge, which is inexplicably missing. We've ordered a temporary fix, but we're still sorting out the work order. Well, with all the recent budget issues, I remain skeptical about the repairs. Well, can't those knights check the list? Do you mean Kyle and Larry? They're off duty. Don't ask. You needn't worry. These knight hopefuls will figure out a solution soon, and then we can carry on with the auditions. Well, but I am a hopeful knight. If you just step aside, I'm confident that I could find a way across. Ahem. <laughs> 
Daventry Decree 6645 states that a royal guard once commanded must never, under no circumstances, abandon his post while on duty. Well, technically, Addendum 237A allows us to leave if someone is in distress and in need of assistance. Of a life or death nature. I stand corrected. And we wouldn't want a repeat of the Rubenstern fiasco. A tardy auditionee, however, hardly counts for distress. Sorry, but we can't leave our post. King's orders. Wow. I guess we go over here then. We find our own way across. And then you chop down the tree full of angry bees? Enough, Gwendolyn. All right, that's not right. Come at me, bees! Hmm. Stay off those rocks. It's dangerous. Nice. Distress! Abandoned post! <laughs> hey, it worked. Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. I believe he was talking to me. I appreciate no. it. Me. Wouldn't be the first up. <laughs> okay then. <coughs> um. So what am I supposed to do exactly? And then you chop down the tree full of angry bees? Enough, no. Nope. Can I drown myself again? I can't skip or anything. Distress! Abandoned post! Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. I believe he was talking. Don't be rude, boy. We are in the middle of an important conversation. He was You're talking, talking about who I me. said thanks to. I believe to. he was talking to me. Nope, me. Wouldn't be the first time I've corrected you. Would an entrance ticket prove my worth? Sorry, but the collection of entrance tickets will take place inside the theater. He was talking uh. to me. I believe he was talking to me. He was talking to me. If I use my hatchet on them, bribes don't work on us. Sorry, he was talking to me. Wow, I believe you cut. I did not cut that. He was talking to me. I believe he was talking to me. No, oh, wait, me. and then you chop down the tree full of angry bees. Enough, Gwendolyn. This oh, is getting on my nerves. No need to argue about the fact that I am. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Not good. Run! Alright. Whoa, who are these people? Mind if I join your semicircle? Let us big kids figure this one out. Yo, I got an entrance ticket. I have this lovely ticket I could share. No? You're gonna regret it. Can I bribe them? Seems like a waste of money. You cut? No cutting! That didn't work. Another horn and another missing piece. Uh... Seems like a waste... Your hero is thinking. Hmm. I don't know where I'm supposed to go.
Do I jump back in the water? <coughs> Maybe? No, I can't. Where the heck am I supposed to go? I have caused enough distress for one afternoon. The forest is blocked until this situation is under control. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I cut this tree down? Ah. I don't think this is going to work. Okay, that works. Hulk. That definitely works. Over here, buddy. I got next. <laughs> Never mind. Definitely do not have next. Now I can use this to go across the water. There we go. Pardon me. Oh. It looks like he ran right through me. Oh, God. Wow. What a jerk. Well, what now? The tree was too heavy to move. I would need to chop it down to size. So now I use the hatchet. God dang it. I left the hatchet lodged in the tree because I would not need it any more. Are you sure? Mm, quite sure. Everyone always asks about that hatchet. It gets a tad annoying. How the heck did... Oh. You guys are still... Trying to like get rid of the bees. Huh. What? What am I supposed to do here? The logs just like float away. Oh, did you see that? I was almost across. Anyone? Don't help us. I'm intensely studying the various approaches of my competitors. Uh, okay. Anyone got any other ideas? Nope. Well, see you later. Katakana, Duku, na. No habla espanol. No habla espanol. I have caused enough distress for one afternoon. They just float away. I don't know what the game wants me to do here. I was on top of them. <laughs> what the heck am I supposed to do? 
Oh. I don't know how that will work. Yeah, neither do I. I don't know, man. I don't know what the game wants me to do.